How does it taste? It's amazing. Flip it over, good job. We may need to get a, another uh, thing to work with. Ooh, I got you. You see how even we cook there? That's what we want. Be careful. Uh, and then what we're gonna do? Once you flip them over, you turn the uh, skillet off. Yep, drop it. There you go. So once they sear, you you turn the skillet off. And just let the residual heat cook it because you don't want it to taste rubber. But this shrimp is going to go for our shrimps and grits that we have over here. I haven't stirred it yet. I always just stick the cheese on top and it covers up the uh, grits. That way the grits don't get skin over it. So once we're done with this, and you can put the vegetables in this. Uh, like onions. Onions, garlic, peppers. You can do onions, garlic, peppers. Uh, a little chili pepper flakes if you want. Okay. And then what I did, I dusted shrimp off with a little flour because what's gonna happen is that flour is gonna rub off of the chicken and then it's gonna make this nice gravy. And we're gonna add just a little bit of water into it. And it's gonna be a nice gravy for the uh, shrimp and grits. Okay, good. My daughter Kayla Melee is helping me. That's not good. I think that didn't get flipped over. Yep. So at this point, you let the visual heat cook it. Put a little flour in there. Take your shrimp out, put a little flour in there, and butter. Cook out the flour. Then add you some water and slowly add your shrimp back in there and it's gonna make it gravy. So what did you just pour in there? Water. And what else is all in there? What was in that little bowl right there? Flour. Flour. So you got water and flour. And then those are bell peppers and stuff in there. We're gonna make a gravy for the shrimps and grits. We got the shrimps right there that we're gonna throw in later. And that's gonna be primarily our salt. Then we got our cheese grits right here. And what, what I do when I'm making cheese grits, since grits kind of get a skin on it, you wanna just put your, your cheese on top and let it melt just like that. Then stir it at the last minute. Yeah, so you see how the gravy's getting thick? And so we're gonna keep cooking it and it's gonna get a slight color on it. And then we may put a little bit more seasoning in there, but that's gonna be it. And we'll throw everything together. Good job, Kayla May. And what are we making again, Kayla May? You forgot gravy for the shrimps and grits. All right. And what are we making, Kayla May? Gravy. gravy and what? All right. We got our onions in there, parsley, garlic, bell peppers, our Cajun and Old Bay, garlic and onion powder, salt and pepper, little butter, flour, and a touch of water. Now, all of this, once it gets a little bit more thick, we're gonna stir up our grits and we're gonna plate it so you guys can see it. So it's gonna be shrimp and grits. The grits stirred, they're nice and creamy. They got cheese in it. Me, now what I usually me. do, this is my daughter, Kaylee Mae. She done made the gravy shrimp that's gonna go with the shrimps and grits. Now you can put bacon, you can go do anything you want with it, but 
That's what we've done. This is how yeah, we always crazy. do it. Yeah, you can go crazy. But usually I would put some um, sour cream in here to smooth it out a little bit more. I don't have sour cream, so what I'm going to use is a little mayo. And it's going to smooth that out. And then we'll plate I'm it and it let you see. I'm putting it in the mayo. Okay, okay. Here's the finished product of the shrimps and grits. And look how smooth those grits are. These are nice cheesy grits. Yeah, they're kind of good. Yeah. It smells good. So, what we usually do, uh, salt in the water, let the grits cook on low. Then after they're done cooking on low, you put the cheese on top. Don't stir the cheese in until you're done with everything. And then you'll have cheesy grits all the time. And then if they're a little bit too thick, think of a baked potato. Put your little sour cream into it, sour cream and cheese. It's really good together. So we got the grits. You actually make them like like real metallics. We got the grits. And you can eat this for dinner, breakfast, like brunch. A, like a, and lunch time. So we got that. Now we're gonna put the now we're going to put the uh, gravy shrimp in there. Daddy, I'm you got to hand me one. I'm like, mmm. Okay. You go ahead and taste one. Can I taste one? Yeah, you taste one too. I taste. Mmm. All right. Because I was serving you up. So we got the gravy shrimp. And my daughter made the shrimp in the gravy. So we got the shrimp. I put everything in. And the gravy. Are you showing the camera mm. to the food? Yeah. So okay. good. Shrimps. This gravy. stuff is so it's good. Be my Whatever you use to make so your good. shrimp, you use to make your gravy. Alright. Put a little parsley on top. Just a little. And then I finish it with just a dash of Old Bay. Old Bay. Grab you a spoon. And you start digging in. Start. Bye bye, guys. And you start digging in. Guys, eat it. Give me one. This one's mine. Let's take the taste test. Bye. I taste. Mmm. I taste. All right. Bye bye, people. Mmm. Is it good? What are you eating, Kaylee Mae? Shrimp and grits. All right. Is it good, Mumu? Uh huh. All right.